historians, I'm Abby. And I'm Sophie. Today, we're going to be talking about two aviators who broke barriers in flying. What's an aviator? An aviator is someone who flies planes. The two we are talking about today are Bessie Coleman and William J. Powell. They lived when everyone in the world was just beginning to learn about flight and helped generations of African Americans and women be able to learn how to pilot a plane and eventually go to outer space. Bessie Coleman was born in Texas in 1892 and had 12 brothers and sisters. Her mom was African American and her dad was Native American. She grew up helping her mom pick cotton and wash laundry for extra money, but did well in school. She decided to go live with two of her older brothers in Chicago for a new start. Her brothers had served in the military in France during World War I and liked to tell her stories all about it. Do you have older siblings? Do they like to tease you sometimes? Well, Bessie's brother liked to tease her about flying. They told her that French women were allowed to learn how to fly, but she couldn't. Has anyone ever told you that you can't do something? Did it make you want to quit or did it make you want to try harder? Bessie decided that she wanted to learn how to fly. She applied to many American flight schools, but every one of them refused to teach her. Why do you think they all said no to Bessie? They were discriminating against her. What's discrimination? Discrimination is when people are treated poorly based on something about them, like if they're a boy or a girl, the color of their skin, etc. The flight schools refused her because Bessie was an African American and a woman. Do you think Bessie stopped trying to fly? No. A friend told her that if American flight schools wouldn't have her, maybe she should apply to a school in France. So, Bessie went to a night school after work to learn French. She applied to a French flying school and was accepted. In 1921, she became the first American to earn an international pilot's license and the first African American and Native American woman to fly. She became very good at doing tricks with her plane. She flew upside down and did wing walking. What do you think wing walking is? Wing walking is where one person flies the plane and another person walks along the wings of the airplane in the air during flight. It's a very dangerous trick. Two years after getting her license, Bessie was in a bad plane crash and broke her leg, cut her face, and cracked her ribs. She made a complete recovery and went back to flying. Bessie returned to America and dreamed of opening her own flight school that would be open to everyone. To make money, she traveled around the country showing films of air tricks, spoke, performed flying shows, and gave lessons. She always encouraged African Americans and women to learn how to fly. She never spoke or performed anywhere that was segregated or discriminated against African Americans. What is segregation? Segregation means separation. In this context, Segregation means the separation of people based on their skin color. For a long time at Bessie's air shows, the organizers would often want black people and white people to enter through different gates and sit in separate spots. Bessie would refuse to perform her air shows unless there was no segregation. She was famous for standing up for her beliefs. Unfortunately, before she made enough money to open her flight school, Bessie died in 1926. She was a passenger on a test flight and a loose wrench got stuck in the engine. The pilot lost control of the plane and it crashed. Even though she wasn't able to do everything she dreamed of, she broke through a barrier of discrimination so other African Americans and women could reach their dreams of flying. Bessie inspired William J. Powell to be a pioneer in aviation too. William was born in Kentucky in 1897 but was raised in Chicago. He did go to college and was accepted into the University of Illinois engineering program when he was 17. However, William paused his studies to serve as a lieutenant in World War I. He was part of the racially segregated 370th Illinois Infantry. How do you think segregation changed William's unit? He only served with other African-American soldiers, but the leaders of his unit were white. While he was in France, William survived a poison gas attack. It affected his health the rest of his life and most likely led to his early death. William went back to Chicago to recover and finish his engineering degree. He became fascinated by flight and wanted to become a pilot. Like Bessie, he applied to many flight schools and was rejected by all of them because of his race. But in 1928, he was finally accepted into the Los Angeles School of Flight, 
and received his license as a pilot, navigator, and aeronautical engineer. What does a navigator do? A navigator plans the path the plane will take, trying to take the safest and quickest route possible. What is an aeronautical engineer? An aeronautical engineer designs and builds machines that fly, such as planes. William became a well-known pilot in California. Like Bessie, William wanted to start a flying school to encourage African Americans to fly. He was able to open a flying club and school in Los Angeles, and as a tribute to the work Bessie Coleman had done, named both businesses after her. Because flying was a new field, William believed that African Americans should become as involved as possible so the whole community could grow as the importance of flying grew. He did everything he could to bring black aviation to public awareness. He wrote books, made a documentary, performed shows, and spoke with important African American political voices. He also promoted black businesses related to aviation, such as plane mechanics. Unfortunately, his flight businesses collapsed during the Great Depression a few years later. William continued to promote African American flight until his death in 1942. Bessie Coleman broke through many barriers of discrimination to become the first African American and Native American woman pilot, even though it meant going to France. She was an advocate for everyone to follow their dreams of aviation and never tolerated segregation or discrimination. William J. Powell fought discrimination and segregation by becoming a pilot. He encouraged all African Americans to learn about flying and to show the world their brains, abilities, and that they can carve out their own destinies. Both aviators pioneered the way for African Americans to continue flying around the globe and space. Today's activity to celebrate these awesome aviators is making and flying your very own plane, just out of paper. The only material you need for this is a piece of paper. Here we have provided for you several different patterns for you to follow to make your own paper airplanes. You can choose to pause and do one or two, or maybe you can make all of them. We also encourage you to look up even more complex patterns if you're interested. Once you're done making your paper airplanes, you can race them to see which one goes the fastest, uh, which one goes the furthest, which one can do cool tricks. You can even use your paper airplanes to send messages around your house. Whatever you do with your airplanes is up to you. Just have fun and remember these awesome aviators that paved the way for African Americans and women in flight. That's all for us today, historians. Join us next week for another adventure.